stuff, but my stuff's already here. Well, okay. I'm getting used to. Uh, oh, I got to do this. See, I'm all confused, boy. Early in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Dang. I know. Yeah. Early. early. See, we went after the view, and now we're going after Good Morning America. Mm -hmm. Okay, this boy. Because none of our fans like sleeping. Uh, it ain't none of our fans sleep. None of our fans got a bed. A bed. But anyway. So let me show. Who knows? Maybe we'll get this up on a Tuesday. I, I as told opposed you. To a Wednesday I'm or a possible you, that, Thursday. Boy, listen, it's a new day. Today's the first day of, of uh, spring or winter. One, one of the two. Mm -hmm. Boy, it's supposed to be the first day of spring, but it's I think an Xavier Woods and a Big E. Maybe not a Coffee <laughs> Kingston, but it's definitely an Xavier Woods. <laughs> oh, so. hold on, boy. Okay. okay. Now well, I feel, yeah, I feel refreshed, boy, because the. Uh, they made people depress me. The stink yeah, of today hasn't been yeah, dropped Yeah, exactly, on exactly. So, uh, anyway, I'll shut up and we'll, we'll get there. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Daddy to Work. You wrestle. See? Do the claps, kind of. I know, I forgot. <laughs> We're not supposed to clap. You know what time it is, yes. George, how was your week? Dang, boy, this brand new, refreshed morning hour is throwing me way off. I, did, I actually forgot a moment when I was supposed to clap. I, I haven't so. even finished all of my morning tea yet. So, like... <laughs> well, I, because I'm on this kick about... When you call your, like you'll be on the road, you want to call your bank, you know, the, the talk to that automatic lady and just check on things. And 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 you always, she says, leave your number or whatever. And, she, and you always start to leave it as she's talking. So it feels like you're you're interrupting. I mean, it's, it's very rudish because you don't want to wait because she says the same thing. So anyway, uh, boy, great, great, great week. Uh, boy, unbelievable week. I was very, very, uh, so much to talk about. I'll, I'll make it quick. Uh, finally got you to, will <laughs> I finally got to go back to uh, Scrappy and Popo, our friends there in Kings Mountain you know for the last year basically uh, Uncle Sam has shut down the armory uh, no wrestling uh, back in the armory uh, bullet and so they this was their first show back since late 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 last September I mean uh, just nothing going on so and we kind of didn't know how it would draw or whatever bullet but man uh, you knew you was at a wrestling show when they you actually, had R.O. Slaw on your mouth? Oh, my gosh. Bullet. On the shirt. I think it's still I think it's still on the same shirt. I just turned the shirt inside out. Bullet. So, uh, everything's good. But anyway, uh, Bullet, We uh, they ran. They, they're they actually able to keep uh, their ring uh, on the trailer back there behind Army for a while. But it was kind of neat, Bullet. Very, uh, very radish. And I'm not talking about uh, the, the, the women kind. I'm talking about... Uh, you know that place has been shut up for a while. That old National Guard government area. Uh, when you're when you go, you pull around back, and you go to get out to go check on the ring, and 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 there's a field with a big fence with army tanks, and you see like four of the big jacked up juices. I mean, they're on the juice rats. I mean, I'm talking rat rats, not the girl rat, but just rats that you ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, bullet. And, uh, and anyway, just went running through the army tanks and, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I don't even know why I'm saying that. But you know that place, what I'm saying is you know that place been shut up for a while. Yeah. Okay? Uh, personally, I just say send the rats Like storage over. wars. Oh, oh yes. Uh, but, but of armory. <laughs> yeah, yes. They open up in this big, dusty room. There's all kinds of stuff. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, all I know is you send them for... You send them four rats that I saw over to fight a war. We, we're going to win. I mean, things were the ugliest looking, jacked up. They look like the Ninja Turtle rats that's been on the ooze, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, so, but they had a great show is what I'm getting at, Bullet. It was uh, uh, unbelievable. The fans just, even though there's been a, a, a shutdown in their life for about a year, uh, they, they still drew like 125, 130 people, and uh, it's just good to be back in that old army. Uh, bullet. So just just uh, down the road from ROs. Oh too. man, which, man. By, which by the way, I went down to down to uh, Atlanta to do comedy, and I, I stayed over the night. And I was coming back, oh. and I was like, you know what? It's still I'm gonna still consider it my birthday, and I'm coming up 85 North. Oh boy! So I took that exit right there at about noon, and it was packed. Oh at boy. Noon, and I was like, I'm not gonna wait in line. <laughs> and I walked out, and, and I, I'd already got the tingles, like my palms I'm already out. sweating. I'm like, I can't walk away now. I'm right here. I'm just going to have to sit and wait. And I sat and I waited, and oh, it boy. was worth it. Because oh, I don't know if you know this or not, how recently you've been, but you have you noticed that they've made the burgers bigger now? Yes, I do notice that. I do not know I, the see, reasoning. I, I've been waiting to talk to somebody about this yes. for a week. You're the I, only person bullet. I can talk to about the changes in RO's menu. Bullet. It is... It's, it's double the it's thickness. Double the it's thickness. Double, the, double the thickness. I think they're actually justifying what they've been charging us all along. 
That's what I'm thinking too, yeah. because because I know the, the, the son is taking over. Yeah, yes. and he's made all these changes. Yes, that's and, right. And, and for him to give more for your dollar seems very I, against I his character. <laughs> and maybe I, like wanted, I want I want to no. know if you you had any insight. Well, the dad took back over and said, "My son's running the business into the ground. I'm not producing yeah, very, a quality product oh, oh, anymore." Oh, oh, very. So I didn't know what happened. Because now the burgers are, are twice as thick I know. and twice as juicy. Boy, that is so, and I'm not just saying it because I uh, uh, I totally uh, uh, with you. I, I, I wondered the same thing. I mean, there's no like sign that says better, bigger burgers, new management, or nothing. It's well, they just... know now because as soon as I get into it, I set it down, I got up, I walked around. I said, you understand what we have right now? I like every like, I know. like that was the when, best advertisement I could get. Bullet when the world when the world is is taken taken taken, I actually think that the cooks are doing it and the office don't know yet and then they're eventually going to get fired. I think I, I, I love it. It's what I'm saying. I bullet we are so we're twins. Bullet we are very uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Danny DeVito ish. Twins. I know there's a little bit more on everybody's paycheck now because we've got these tax cuts. Well, Listen, if these tax cuts are the reason why we have thicker R.O.'s burgers, <laughs> I'm kind of okay with I, I, it. I Even though 10 years from now we'll be paying more than <laughs> anybody that's making of the 1%. But, you know, hey, I'm well, losing on R.O.'s burgers for right now. Folks, and you... And if I keep eating R.O.'s I, burgers, I won't live for another 10 years. <laughs> so... But, folks, you really, really, and I know a lot of the, the viewers, they may never get a chance to try it. Well, heck, you can, I think you can order it now, the slaw, but, but you, to, to experience it at least one time is like you said once you get that aroma i've never been nothing around it i think they may you start even, getting a sweat no you do it's, it, it, it's got to be with heroin addicts no i totally feel, agree gosh um it's definitely something i feel when i'm in a bar like that sense of wanting to have a drink yes you know what i'm saying uh, you get that feel like there it is it's right on tap like <laughs> the only feeling i get that's comparable to the feeling i get with ro slaw is when i when my my alcoholic uh, senses are tangling when i'm in a bar that's the only thing i come close to, to that feeling of it just cramping you, you up. Got, I, I mean, yeah. boy, I, I mean, mm. I, we are so agreeable on this. It's almost like there's this this mist over that location that if you get, it, it, not not tear gas, it kills you, but it's just like an aroma that if you get in that in that circle and it it it, it, it touches you, you can't leave till. No, I tried I, to leave. It was no, there was no bullet. there was no room to wait. The <laughs> line was out the door, and I'm no, like, no. I don't feel like waiting in line. This was a stupid idea. But as soon as I took I took three steps, it was like a tractor beam. No, yeah, I could, no. I could. I was like, I can't. Are you kidding me? You're no. right here. You're right here. You got you got to turn around. You got to turn around. It had to turn around. Bullet. It is probably the only. And I know when you're hungry, you're hungry. But I know it's one of the few places that I'll actually get, you be going down 85, flowing traffic, and just a perfect, beautiful day, and you will actually get off of that perfectly sequence of traffic to go to this place, mm -hmm. which is off the exit. So anyway, uh, thank you. I, no, I, 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 I'm glad I, we can talk I, about no, it. You're I, the I, only so person I can talk to about this. Boy, I, I don't not, have anybody I to talk actually, to. This is a true story. I actually, the first time I bid into it, I thought I had gotten, I sure wasn't going to Yeah. I thought I got somebody else's meal. I, that's what I thought, thought too. Me. I was like, did they, did they, did they change something? No, yeah, I was freaked out. No, I freaked and out. I wasn't going to tell a soul. I thought, man, what a good day. Thank you, Lord. I got a double when I ordered the, the single. But that's that's every burger now. It's just unbelievable. So, uh, oh God, I, I need to go right now. Do we, we, we you have a comedy gig like in and uh, in, 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 yes? Well, now that I know that, I'm going to stop by more, and they're going to get more of my money. No, no. Anyway, thank you so much for bullet uh, bullet for that. Just that whole connection, and and it, it's just good food. Oh my gosh. And uh, but anyway, uh, thank you for that bullet. I know uh, everything going. Thank Scrappy and Popful for having me. Uh, of course, this week, uh, uh, this weekend I'll be headed up to Lewis Moore. His huge event in Clayton. He's got, but he's got poster done changed like twelve times. He's got so many names on this thing. Uh, the big. What I'm very excited about is his, his annual Ivan Koloff uh, tournament. Uh, our good friend Ivan Koloff that passed away. And of course, what I'm very excited about is Ivan's family uh, will actually be able to be there. So uh, I'll get to say hey and uh, love on them a little bit. But that's this coming uh, Saturday night in Clayton. Uh, Bullet. I want to put a quick bug in your ear, real quick. I know it's uh, going to be in May. I put the finishing touches on it yesterday, uh, May 12th. Uh, I think I probably got the wrong date, but I do know Is it's it like... Is it a Friday? Uh, no, it's going to be a Saturday. Ooh, That's the only I thing. Do, I, don't, um, I, don't, I don't think I can do that Saturday. But boy, I'm very excited. Denton, North Carolina, uh, the, the South uh, uh, Davison High School. We're actually going to do it on the football field. That's what I'm mm -hmm. very excited about. Uh, uh, 
Uh, what we talk about a lot here is helping the football, the, the basketball and the football program mm -hmm. uh, raise some money. And, and I got Magnum TA coming, and, and we're going to do it under the stars. Of course, I made arrangements if it rains, which I hope it don't, pray it don't. Uh, we'll move inside the gym, so I've got that took care of. But uh, just an old-fashioned fundraiser. We're going to try to help the high school that hadn't been wrestling in the Denton, North Carolina area in in a long, long, long time. So we're going to try to uh, go in there and, and, of course, things, you know, uh, but you know, you're, uh, I'd love to have you. Who I'm saying, but I know with on Saturday, especially in May, things are things are nuts. Especially just but, just coming off off the road, I I will be crazy. Yes, I I, I, I may sh I may like be out of my mind by that time. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, don't know. is that the big? That ain't the big Kansas City. It's just uh, just, move, just coming off. Oh, just coming off. Oh, that. Whoa, and whoa. I've, already, I've already booked up everything after that. Wow. As as well, like when I come back, I hit the ground running as oh, well. Boy. So I come back and I've got all these bookings stacked up after that as well. So See that I'm excited. So uh, not only am I all gone for 2 weeks, I'm booked up for a week after oh, that. Boy. So. That is so good. That is so good. And I'm very excited about your Kansas City trip coming up because uh, I get to relive uh, uh me starving. No, not that you go start. Mm -hmm. But I get to relive uh, some of that area and some it's, it's neat here in some of those towns and stuff uh, that was mentioned through that. Uh, mm -hmm. Got to give a quick, not really a plug because uh, every, uh, I don't want to turn this into the uh, uh, bullet George South Dad, you don't work your wrestle uh, movie thing, but bullet, listen to me. I don't think if I ever get. Uh, what I'm talking about is this movie I just watched. It's just released on DVD. We can turn this uh, into men on film. But, but, I mean, we have the same me. set. Basically. Uh, well, I don't want to interfere with. Uh, who booked this thing with y'all? Uh, how does this book? No, it's no. okay. But anyway, nobody's listening to that uh, anyway. But <laughs> well, we almost had a hundred. I think uh, I think we got a hundred fifty. I don't know what we did last week. But we got to redo it because I mean we got to do it again. It's a screen we had like it's, it's when you get in the, when you get in the front right here and you start screaming. Oh, and boy. this is the screen cap. I love that. Boy. And now my eyes are all weird because I'm looking <laughs> at the screen when I should be looking right at dead at the camera. And that's gonna give her better oh, well, screen cap. Time, when this right, but see when I look here, I look weird. I, I, look, I, I look I'm all kind of googly eyed. You know what I'm saying? When you get this look, that's not good. When I'm here, this looks intense. I love so when that, you're boy. here, I'm just saying. No, so that must. But we had almost a. 150, 150, when it's just this viewers. right here, it's not. But yeah, when people yeah. when we see the people see the screen, they feel cap, like we're in the living room. Scream, yeah, okay. I feel okay. like I feel like we're screaming. And we're doing. I, I love that. I love that. Sorry. So thank you, boy. That a very monument time here to, mm -hmm. to get you up there, boy. Yeah. So I love that. But anyway, real quick, uh, it's ain't why uh, uh, I just want to plug this. Not the more plug because I'm. Boy, I can't even believe that you know in Hollywood nothing surprises us. It's like the wrestling business. We've been there, done that, seen that. But anyway, Nicholas Cage, who's a very very I like him and and. You know, in some movies. But anyway, there's a new movie called Mom and Dad. I liked him in 1997. But, but listen to this. There's a new movie called Mom and Dad. Okay? okay. And and it's supposed to be kind of a scary-ish movie or whatever. I didn't... And I thought, well, is it zombies or whatever it is? But what the dumbest movie in the world. The concept... I don't know if you've seen it. Bullet. And it's... The concept of this movie is they don't turn into zombies. The parents kill their kids. Okay. I mean, but the whole two hours... Which that's okay. I mean, I've always threatened to kill mine too. But, boy, who? Here's my point. This ain't got nothing to do with the idiot bag. That comes later. But, boy, listen to me. Who sits around a Hollywood table with all these movie producers? That I got an idea, sir. If you, if you, uh, if you let me ask. And so the president of this co company says, "Okay, uh, sir, you in the red jacket with the with the bandana hanging out the front." With with the uh, uh, car keys on your neck, holding a bottle of water and a DVD. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, you got the floor. And then I said, "Well, I got a great idea. Let's make a movie, two hours of it, of of the parents killing their kids. So they don't turn into zombies to do it. They just get sick, the whole city, and they kill their kids. And mm -hmm. but that's okay. Well, it's not okay. Oh gosh. But <laughs> but the point is, bullet. The kids don't get a. Re they don't get revenge. Do you understand what there's I'm no saying? There's no comeback. No, there's no comeback. Listen. Listen, Boy. Bret Hart tried to have a wrestling match without a comeback, <laughs> no. and he said that's the dumbest thing ever. He says there should always be a comeback in yes. every wrestling match. I love that. So, there should always be a comeback. So Nicolas Cage and his his very attractive wife, they they get infected with the sickness because all the uh, the parents in the, in the little old farming area, you yeah. know, have already got nuts and killed all their kids. Mm -hmm. Well, so the whole concept of this movie is Nicolas Cage and his uh, very attractive uh, uh, psycho wife try to kill their kids. I mean, chase them down the basement, blow the basement up, and, and but the whole process of it is the kids never, they never get a, they never get like a comeback in this thing. And boy, basically, you're sitting here, you're waiting. Okay, I didn't even spend money on popcorn, so I'm pretty glad over this. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking, 
who put the, and I know a payday is a payday. Don't get me wrong. Especially but, for Nicholas Cage. Oh my gosh. Big money problems. Oh, bullet. I, you that, think so that makes sense. So you, that, that, you do think wrestlers have bad money problems? Oof. Well, that makes sense because, and, it, and then the movie just ends. Bullet. I mean, it just basically, not, not, not. I mean, Nicholas Cage up. has to do that or else we got to do a shoot <laughs> take with him in jail. <laughs> And we got to do the same things we did for Ricky Morton oh. for Nicholas Cage. <laughs> it's either do this movie or do everything we did for Ricky Morton in 2005. Bullet, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not lying. I was in Ricky Morton's car, I swear to you, and he was driving, and we were going to a town after that fact, and I had a DVD, a couple of them. And he looked down, and that cover of it was a, 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 a sold-out house, and Ricky Morton looked down, and he said, dang, man, he said, where's that from? And it happened to be a DVD from... The fundraiser we did for him, and I and I I never forget this. I said, "Rick, it's it's we did a show, we did a fun." He had he had no idea, he had no idea that this sold out crowd. And I know there were several of them done for him, but this particular one that was put on DVD, he had no idea that there was even a fundraiser. He said, "Man, that's a heck of a house." I said, "Well, of course." I said, "It was for you." Technically you. true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, anyway, uh, bullet. Anyway, just. Lord, uh, folks, save your money. It was only a buck, but my gosh, please, please, boy. I mean, I, I know I lost to the Mulkies and the Ding Dongs, but Lord, it's okay. Trust to, his movie opinions. Uh, but, but trust me. Oh, my gosh. It says, I don't have a life, and, and that's all I got to do is this. Are you kidding me? I mean, the, but the kids, uh, there's no way. The kids didn't say, the kids didn't do nothing. Anyway, so uh, I hated it. But anyway, uh, Bullet Quick Week this week. I know you're getting ready to go out pretty soon. Uh, yeah, I got a, uh, my all-organic comedy show at the Eating Muse this Thursday. Um, PWX this Sunday. That's the big rise of a champion. That will be happening this Sunday at Cabarrus. Uh, Cabarrus, but you know, about Ca the it arena at Concord. Yeah, it yeah, is Cabarrus. Yes, yes. Sorry, I, I go to two places in Cabarrus. One's comedy, <laughs> one's pro wrestling. I've confused uh, them so many times. Boy, I did feel this this little bit guilty. Uh, I saw last week where you and Miss Bullet had uh, what a birthday gift she gave you. That that art commission. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So commission, commission piece of art. I, I wish I could have go back and take back that little snicker bar I gave you. Bullet. I mean, because really, I, I, that was I very. I even told her. I, 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 I posted on it that I felt really. Like uh, uh, for you to be unappreciated, but even though I do appreciate you, yeah. but I could have did better than than uh, than the. I just you gave y'all eight look, Snickers. Listen, okay, you did the best you could. You did uh, but I did try. You okay? did try. I did try. You're, Thank you're, you. you're one of two gifts that I actually. Have. Actually, one of three. One of three. <laughs> gifts. Uh, so anyway, quick. Uh, uh, not not to go from you to the idiot back, uh, but but uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know the whole world's talking about. It. I know I got to hurry up here. But something that's very dear to my heart that has broke my heart is. Bullet, and I'm going to throw them, uh, uh, like they kick them while you're down. Throw salt in their wound while they're down. But I'm going to throw Toys R Us in the idiot bag. Okay. Bullet, are you kidding me, folks? I know the whole world's heard this. 70 stores, all 70 locations, will be shut down. Okay? Here's my whole point, Bullet. And then this is why I'm throwing. Not, but, but I know you saw, I don't know if you saw the press conference with, like, the CEO. He gets like eight billion buy. I mean, they're they're giving the CEO. He gets like eight billion dollars when this thing happens. I'd have shut them down a long time ago. But uh, bullet, just another. The reason I'm throwing them in there, bullet. They ain't even decided to like. Okay, regroup. Let's close down a couple stores. Let's let's. Here's my whole point with the whole world. Okay, bullet. How is this? Company, which is basically the only toy store. I know there's competition on the internet, cheap yeah. toys, my gimmick table. I know probably put them out of business. I do understand that. That's Stevie true. Richards figures. I know probably put them out of business. Uh, Sam Punk Bear. But here's my whole point, Bullet. We're standing this. in a room that probably <laughs> helped put them out of business. <laughs> So uh, a, 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 a company that used to go to their stores, uh, uh, buy up their toys, <laughs> then then bring them back. Jack up the price and then yeah. ship them out. Now, granted, yeah, uh, yeah can't allegedly. Too bad. allegedly, allegedly, uh, we did that. But, but, boy, here's my whole point. They ain't even like tried. You know, most companies will say, oh, "Let's regroup. Let's close a couple stores and see." Uh, I mean, for, for heaven's sake, just keep one open. Just call it toy. I mean, don't even put an S on it. Don't even say R us. Just say toy. I mean, something. But here, here's my whole point where I'm throwing them in. Now, what a what a piece of my childhood. Uh, me, and, me and my oldest son, uh, uh, that's we kind of bonded when I used to buy his love. You know, when I get my Jim Crockett check and, mm -hmm. and, and he would hate me till I take him in there and buy him a toy, then he'd love me till the next payday. 
So Toys R Us is a very big part of, of my childhood, of my son's childhood, okay? But, you know, and, you and, probably took him there, maybe got him some ice cream afterwards. Yes. It was a whole thing. Maybe you got something to eat, like, hey, it's a big excursion. Now, yes. now uh, parents say yeah. they're like, they just get on their little iPad, like, all right, so much what do you want? Yeah. Hit click. All right, let's, no. wait, let's wait a day or two. Well, see, Daddy doesn't want to pay for fast shipping. I know. So we're going to have to wait anywhere from three to five days for you to get that toy. So... You know, let's just enjoy this experience of well, waiting around to three to five business no, days. No, you're exactly right. And so, because, like you that's, said. That's the only, don't get me wrong. I work for an internet company, an internet online merchandise company. But the closing of, of brick and mortar stores makes me think, are we at the level right now <laughs> to where we have drones flying in when we order something that we can get that item to us in a few hours? Because here's the thing. You know, circuit. You know, Circuit City's closed. Yeah. Radio Shack's closed. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I, 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 I do audio visual stuff, and sometimes you need an adapter. Yeah. And sometimes you forget that, that adapter. Exactly right. So it was always comforting, like go to a Radio Shack, get what I need to replace it at wherever I'm at or yeah. wherever town. That's I can right. if I've forgotten some piece of equipment. No, now if I yeah. forget an adapter, uh, an XLR to That's an exactly RCA right. adapter. I have to click and order it, and yes. then wait, wait. That's like exactly right. Three to four business days That's exactly to get right. it, or at best, in a, you know, a day or two if I, you know, expedite the shipping. But the thing is, I need this thing right now. That's right. And there was a place where I could go, where I could grab it, and that'd be it. Not anymore. Now, if you want anything, you got to wait a day or two. Yeah. And that is now the future. Yeah, I think so. And, and, and so the reason I'm throwing them in idiot bag is what, because I don't understand it. So if I. Until if we start flying drones around and we get these things in see, a couple hours, let's, see, not, let's not close up all brick and mortar. No. And, and see, what aggravates me is this huge company, it's been around forever, 70 stores, they're, they're closing down. But so how does some little mom and pop, I'm not saying nearly a, like a toy store, but how. How does the dollar, I mean, how do, you know what I'm saying? How does something much lesser that don't have as much power, as much money, as much advertising, how does this place stay in business? We know businesses, you know, like John's action figure or something up in New Jersey. It'll stay open for like 400 years. And then I there's just a really great comic book it, store here in Charlotte, and there's one that I just saw in Greensboro. And it's like, I don't even know no, how you guys stay No, open. exactly. So that's why I will throw them in just because... Uh, now i got to find another way to buy my children's love. Toys R Us, you didn't just affect y'all. You affected me and my relationship with my kids now because, Lord, if, if I don't uh, find a way to buy their love besides toys now, I don't know how my grandbabies are ever going to even know me. So anyway, I, will throw, I just don't understand how that can shut down, okay, and it's done. But we, got comp we, got, we both know places that, you, like you said, you walk in and say, how are they paying the rent here? I mean, you know, uh, several little record stores or stuff that are still just these bu bu boutique like clothing clothing shops. Yeah. Like I don't understand. Like you exactly right. sell a blouse a day and that yeah. keeps the lights on. Like boy, I know. I mean, I'm all for people like doing that. Don't get me wrong, but, but I don't how, know how you stay. No, open. I think so. Boy, in know. Gastonia near Aros, there is a wig. Uh, wig shop, which I'm not making fun well, of wigs. George, but, I know how that stays open. Trust but, me. I, 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 I know how. I, but, I, I definitely know how <laughs> hair stores stay open. Okay. Well, but but my I'll, girlfriend has to go through security to buy her hair. <laughs> like they have to check her, check her ID, retinal scan, just so she can buy her hair. Well, uh, and, and, and I, I but, know how that can happen. But you know, places like that, you wonder. Did they have better management? Did they have better? I mean, but anyway, it's just a sad, sad day here uh, uh, that the Toys R Us. Uh, Little George did tell me it was kind of neat. I guess two of the WWE guys went in. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, two of the WWE guy, big name guys, they actually took their kids in to one of the last uh, Toys R Us's and bought their action figure and then kind of said how sad it was. It was two, not the big name guys, but two middle middle card guys. Yeah. But anyway, and just sung the uh, Want to Be a Toys R Us Kid song or whatever. So just anyway, I, I'm heartbroken. That experience is gone. Yes, that's exactly right. And, that, and they shared that. They said, okay, we went here as kids, you know, but we're, we're, uh, the, the, the relationship of being able to take our kids there, it's just, and I know a lot of their stuff was high priced, all that kind of stuff, but it's just the fun, like you said, about the journey of me and my son going in there. Even times that, uh, he may have been bad in school, and I didn't really get him nothing. I just kind of milked it and let him look, and if he'd been good next week. But just now, it's like scroll through the iPad. Son. <laughs> no. Oh, I might have a coupon. Hold on a no. second. Uh, I still gotta wait three to five days. I know exactly. So here we go. Toys R Us. 
uh, and all their uh, 70 stores will be put into the idiot bag because it's just another part of, I don't know why someone can't just keep one little room open. Uh, that's like the, the cereal, aisle, cereal aisle closing. Yeah. No, you, you, had, you, had, you had a high demand that, product. That's exactly right. Uh, you know, uh, a very uh, passionate fan base of just kids. Yes. And you messed it up. Yeah, that's exactly right. What, what's next? A cereal aisle is going to close? <laughs> oh, so. boy. I know. That's a very good illustration. You had the great so, marketing, the flash, you, you messed up. I mean, uh, so what's the draft? You know, the biggest reason I throw them in there, now I think their, their guy was a draft. Wasn't it? Wasn't their their logo guy? Their, their draft. Yeah. So now he's out of work. So just like the circus. Now you watch. The, it won't be long before the draft comes into wrestling trying to take our job. So see, Toys R Us, you just didn't affect you and the kids. Here it is. Now I'm going to put. Now one of us wants to now, put the draft. We're going to put Jeffrey Both. the draft. Exactly. Over. You watch. Now I got to. Now I got to move my gimmick table down even more. So because Jeffrey's got to <laughs> clear out his excess stock of his going out of business. I tell you, bullet. Because, you know, anybody that's had any kind of experience, whether it was the elephants or the uh, alligator tamers or whatever, uh, what do they do? When someone gets out of work, let's all go to wrestling. It's mm -hmm. like everybody. Jeffrey the Draft's going to be like, hey, brother, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Is this table taken, brother? You watch. I know. Hey, 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 can you take a let's picture for this fan right here, brother? <laughs> And Jeffrey, what? I hate you. But, but listen to me. Hey, can you imagine the water jug this draft's going to carry in? Uh -huh. I mean, boy. I just want to see his bag on wheels. But anyway, so uh, I, well, don't worry, please. One of us will we'll update you when one of us is booked to put him over. Okay? All right. So a lot going on. We cover it all, folks. But what won't break your heart when you go to look for it uh, will be... The second greatest book of all time. <laughs> and go ahead and stick your neck out like yes. a giraffe. Oh. And purchase it at highspots.com. If you want to know more about what I'm doing this weekend, especially the big rise of a champion at Cabarrus Arena, I think it's called. I don't know. I've only wrestled there for like five years. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Manscout Manning or on Instagram at Manscout Manning. This has been another edition of Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle. Boy, thank you. All I got to do is throw the ball up and you'll catch it. I get it. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, boy. Right Thank you. Right no, but you're very good. Cabarrus, when I say Cabarrus Arena, I want to say Cabarrus Brewery. I've been go, saying Cabarrus <laughs> Brewery more the last two weeks. Than you go, no, because you, you do go there a lot. So Now, that's Sunday, Bullet? That is Sunday, there? yes. Okay.